start talking, you idiot. Welcome or welcome back to my weird little corner of YouTube. Here on my channel we do and talk about things and stuff. Things and stuff may include clothes, hair, makeup, tattoos, cats, serial killers, horror films, vlogs and DIY projects. So if you like the sound of that, maybe consider sticking around. So today's video, so basically I'm now back. Hopefully I will be posting more regularly, I have filmed a like get ready with me for this look and I kind of explain more about where I've been and so on and so on, but I'm planning on filming now that I will have more time, more regularly, well, filming and uploading more regularly. So, X Plus Wear is a brand that I haven't tried before and they very kindly reached out to me to see if I would like to try some of their products, which I said, hell yeah. Like their stuff, when I looked on the website, it's out there, it's more occasion wear, I would say. Most of the things anyway. Um, I feel like a goth princess, like a vampire queen in some of them. They are just, wow. Wow. Honestly, and their maxi skirts or maxi dresses are actually maxi, which I'm 5'11", if you haven't been here before, or I haven't repeatedly told you that I'm very tall. Here you are, your reminder that I am very tall. Anyway, so basically, they reached out to me if I wanted to try their clothes, and of course I said, hell yeah. So I chose some of the pieces that I'm going to show you today, and I'm really excited to do so because I think they bring something different to the plus size, um clothing market because I didn't really see these kind of pieces anywhere else and yeah I suppose let's jump into the haul shall we so first of all I ordered this it's like a very long very elastic very strong elastic it's about this thick um it's not here I'll put it in the other room um it's a waist trainer that you can tie up on yourself. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do, don't get me wrong. And I'm still kind of like figuring out how to do it properly. But once you put it on, it gives you the waist that makes it look like you're wearing a corset. So I want to perfect the way of putting it on because I love the look it gives, gives. but it's something I have to read up on and have to practice. The item itself is a really good, uh, quality it reminds me I don't know if you like have used them but those resistance bands that you use for like work workout and stuff that's what it reminds me of. it's really sturdy and and strong and stuff like that so it's not like it's gonna ping off of you um I absolutely loved the silhouette that it gave me it's just that I need to still figure out how to do it properly but once I do figure it out watch out for that hourglass that's all I can say so yeah really good quality product and I think once I figure out how to properly do it without like not doing it properly then it's gonna be amazing so I will probably report back on that one eventually in one of the vlogs or something like that so yay yay for the first item the next item I tried on is a dress which I would say is the least out there it's the least I don't know least of the ones that I would say that I'd only wear for a wedding or a photo shoot it's like a normal dress you can wear it to work or if you work in an office or something it's like a black pencil dress and it has a frill oh why is it called the top part is um I know there's a name for it peplum I think it's peplum. So it's got like a peplum top part. It's like crossed over here. Really nice thick um, strap. So it's, it's uh, you will see anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's really good material. It's got a side zip, which is really uh, helpful. I just do it without because I don't know. I don't have the energy to zip things up and down. But anyway, <laughs> I do that with every, every piece of clothing that I have. 
unless it has no stretch. This one has stretch. It's a really nice sturdy material, like a scuba material, so quite thick. I probably will implant it in the summer because I would be sweating balls. But it's a really nice material and it kind of holds you in and that peplum is just... I, I don't... I haven't got a dress like that, but I really, really like it. I think it just makes me look like... I'm serious, like I'm in business. <laughs> At least that's the vibe that it's given now, given off of, for me anyway. So yeah, I absolutely loved it. It fits really nicely and the material is a very good quality as well. So yay for the next item too. The next dress is... I think I messed up the sizing because you know how it is when you first order from a new brand, you don't know their sizing. Plus it was in the American sizing, which messed up my brain. So I first decided what size I need and then I had to redo everything because then I realized, oh, that's the American size. So if I order my British size, it's gonna be two sizes bigger. It's a minefield, isn't it? Trying to figure out your size. But anyway, so this dress is a little bit too big for me. It is a bodycon dress. It's a thinner material than the previous one. It's um, like a sweetheart neckline and it's strapless. Uh, it's got that, you know, the security thing. The, the It's like to stick to your skin. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense today? I don't know. I'm trying. It's got that plasticky thing around the top. So it sticks so it doesn't just fall off. But unfortunately, because it's too big on me, it just doesn't hold. Like, it doesn't stick because it's too big. Also has a zip on the side. And at the bottom, it's like this tool, which makes it all frilly. Like, I think that dress would look so good on something, someone, something. It would look so good on someone who is the size that the dress is. And also potentially a little bit shorter than me because I feel like the 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 frilly bit should be a little bit lower down. I don't know. I don't know. It's just not the right size for me, unfortunately. I love the concept. I think it's such a cute dress. It just doesn't do anything for me because it's not the right size, unfortunately. But the dress itself is comfortable and it's a good quality. Obviously, I can't report back on the, on the sticky part because it doesn't, it's too far away from my skin to stick. I don't, know, I don't know how else to explain, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I loved the dress and I loved the idea of the dress. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit though. Okay, let's just get the non-fitting things out of the way. So the next dress is the most beautiful dress that I've ever seen, probably. It's a maxi dress. Again, actually maxi on me. So I don't know how shorter ladies deal with this because I'm 5'11 and it's a maxi dress on me. I don't know. Maybe you have to like get it like cut shorter. I don't know. But it's like half and half and the one half that has the like half and half in terms of you get one sleeve and the other one part is sleeveless and the one with the sleeve and this is where the problem comes and again you don't know the material I mean I was beating myself up a little bit because I'm like I know I'm really allergic to this so basically again if you've been here before I have sometimes bought dresses that I absolutely loved because I love that mesh look you know the, the see-through material but if that material is either what is it that I'm allergic to? Chiffon? I think it's chiffon. Or anything similar to that. It is that I put it on. It's not just me saying that it's uncomfortable. It makes my skin hurt. I know it sounds really weird. It's probably not a material that a lot of people are allergic to. I don't, I'm not like diagnosed allergic to it. But if I put it on my skin, literally within half a minute, it starts itching and hurting. So there must be something in it that I'm just not good with. And this is one of those materials. So I tried it on, it was also a little bit too small for me because the arm is not elastic at all. So I couldn't really put it on properly, but it's such a beautiful dress. Like I would, honestly, I would wear 
well not really because i don't go to weddings often but every time i went somewhere that i had to wear a really fancy dress i would be wearing this because i absolutely love it and i think it's beautiful and the quality is amazing it's just that i'm allergic to it i don't know i don't know what can i do about this but unfortunately i'm allergic and it's a little bit too small but the dress itself and the quality of it is just absolutely amazing and yeah the next dress, well, <laughs> so you know how I said that everything is very long? And yes, this dress, so basically it's a dress with black tulle um, and like a skirt that, like the skirt part is really short at the front and then maxi at the back. Love the idea, it looks stunning, but the dress part in the front, so you have like an underlay, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is after I've been after what I've been through with the dissertation writing. My brain is uh, goes to funky places nowadays. Anyway, so the underlay is very short. Like I mean, short as in I could not leave the house in that dress because I would get arrested. Like my lady parts would be. Uh, almost on this well not my lady parts because i wear pants but my pants would be on display um so i'm thinking maybe if i wear like a skirt under it like a black skirt or something like that then, then that could work and also photo shoot i just i can't wait to shoot in these dresses and skirts because oh my god i've got so many ideas and they will look just absolutely perfect for one of my ideas anyway so I love the dress and it would have been amazing for me. And the back is long enough and everything else is fine. It's just the front part. But again, I don't know if someone is shorter. So the front part is long enough and the back is going to be like really long. Maybe it's one of those that you are supposed to be like dragging behind you. Like, oh, look at me, I'm fancy. The dress is amazing. Quality is great too short for me but I will make it work for some photo shoots because I absolutely love how it looks so yay and last but not least it's probably my favorite thing in this haul because it fits so well with what I want to do on one of my photo shoots that's coming up hopefully soon it's a beautiful maxi skirt oh my lord um it's a lot of tall and it's big and it's poofy and it's long and it's beautiful and it makes me feel like a goth queen that I am and <laughs> and I just absolutely love it and there's like a big slit on the front um so it's kind of like like me as well uh, <laughs> I just love this one and it's so long I can't like I can't tell you how amazing it is to actually have maxi skirts or dresses that are actually maxi dresses on me because every time I try on a maxi dress and I don't wear maxi dresses and this is one of the reasons is because they are just like ankle grazers on me like who is a maxi fan I understand that people are different heights and so basically the lengths of dresses should be like different but anyway that's a problem that short long tall oh my god uh, a problem that tall girls have or at least my height girls often have um so i love that this is long i love how dramatic it looks and i can't wait to style it and there's gonna be a vlog if i'm doing a photo shoot because there's always a vlog if i'm doing a photo shoot so yeah i'm extremely excited for this love the skirt it's beautiful and yes all the yeses um I love that they don't, um, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it like in the thing, like when I'm talking about the brand itself. So, so this was my first ever X plus size haul. Thank you so much again to X plus size for reaching out to me. All the links and everything that you need to know will be in the description box down below. The links to the 
to the items and everything else. So you can find all the details there. And I just wanted to say that it's really nice to see a plus size brand that is bringing something new to, because I, I maybe it's just me, I don't know. I haven't really seen um, dresses of similar style in plus sizes which i think is a niche in the market that was not covered and i kind of feel that sometimes you do need this kind of dresses and 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 also the the thing that these are affordable because if you want a fancy thing in a plus size and that's gonna you know that can kind of cost a lot of money especially if you have to like alter it or get it made or whatever so I think these dresses are amazing options if you have anything coming up like a wedding or things like that where you have to wear something fancy. Absolutely love them. I like their quality was really good. Unfortunately, some of the sizes didn't fit, but that's just to do with ordering from a new brand for the first time because you just don't know. So the quality is great and they don't, they're not stingy with the materials because you know how sometimes you see this dress and it looks all frilly and massive and like tools, tool everywhere, like a big cloud. And if that's what you saw, that's kind of what you want. And then you get the dress delivered and it's like one layer of sad looking tool that does not look, that doesn't have any volume or anything. Well, this is not the case here. So I really, really loved most of the pieces, obviously, the one that didn't fit and was itchy. I still loved it, but it's just... I'm really sad and I wish there was something I could do about being allergic to a material, but alas. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this haul. As I said, thank you again to X Plus Size for reaching out to me. And thank you so much to all of you for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Or two? No, you probably get two. No, just one then. <laughs> and um, if you'd like to see more of my face and holes and other things, then you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video when I upload one, which hopefully is going to be more often than it has been recently. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching again, guys, and I shall see you very soon. Bye!